You better not pee on my plants. No, sir. Come here. Come down. Ah, oh, let me, let me just, let me, let me turn this camera off and let me get him out of that bed. This one is called Roman Candle and it's blue, bluish and purple. Very similar to the balloon plant, the color. This is my, oh, lily plant. And it just rained not too long ago. So look, this is what just left. But I have this color here and this tall one in the back, which was taken over by my Gara was bright, bright yellow. And then I have another Roman candle on that side as well. And here on my birdcage, another of this plant. I mass, I mass buy them when it was in clearance for a dollar up low. So now it's doing very pretty over there with my um, birdcage. Down here, there's the petunia right there. And that's also petunia. And this gara here, I don't know why. I planted them all at the same time, but the rest of the sisters are just massive this one will pick up too one day this is another verbena pink flower but rain got to it or when i watered yesterday this is also another petunia and that one there is done blooming it has a yellow flower and on this pot i got variety of these flowers I cannot remember the exact name of all of these flowers, but maybe you can and just let me know in the comments. This is marigold, bright yellow orange almost. Oh, this one flower too. I don't know what this is called. Another petunia and another gara. This is a Mexican flower, Mexican plant, but they bloom very early. Um, the blooms are orange and right now they're done blooming. So what I left is just those green leaves and I need to cut this so that it looks, you know, clean it up a bit. These are my pin cushions right here. And I think I showed this in one of my Walmart trips um, shopping and this is um, I have here and it just went massive after two years. This is another hostess that <clears throat> I don't know what its name but they just took over the base of my bird bath. This is another bird bath and I know this is sedum but Oh wow, it's doing well here. This purple um, green combination. Another hosta. Um, this marigold hosta there in the back. And this is just happy here. <laughs> happy, very happy. And then <clears throat> this one here. I don't know what it's called. I just couldn't name it. Oh my god, I just couldn't remember the names of the pl this flowers but I really do know um, I got this also on clearance five bucks originally they were about no no three dollars originally they were twenty four dollars because these are the big ones a big pot from Lowe's and they're done blooming the white ones all right and then I don't know what the name of that plant but it has that white flower over there and this one here i thought it was dead but it came back this year and it has that yellow flower another balloon plant here the blue and the yellows look so pretty together and then this one another clearance plant guys from lowe's i paid one dollar for this and look it's just taking over here and i love it this is my sedum and doing pretty well also in this pot 
and this pot which is identical to that other pot on that side I have this um, hibiscus and it just flowers for me every day I have brand new flower that just open up like this one this is like peachy orange um, flower and I don't know why because I don't know if it's two plant intertwined but I got the red one yes peach and red here I don't understand this just dried out but these are about to open I got red and peach color orangey on that hibiscus um, and then underneath <laughs> this is not even a dollar plant because I paid full price for this um, petunias but I don't know they are not doing so well not under there not doing so well maybe they need more Sun they need more heat same thing on this pot this hibiscus is struggling um, I don't know but it's um it has a lot of leaves and um, I might have to take a look closely uh, for any diseases and pests but like I said this petunia is under I mean it's flowering it's okay the one that was in here actually died so I might have to plant some more in there to fill up the pots and make it even more pretty and on this side you guys this is my birds of paradise that I kind of neglected last year I just put the pot in the garage and just come now forget about it and water it maybe once or twice during the winter season but now it bounced back and um, when I took it out it has it has a lot of crunchy leaves and just dried out and I trimmed it and now um, look it has a new leaf for me and this is the one that has a, a smaller leaf um, type of birds of paradise and it has a white um, flower and hopefully this year it'll flower for me um, but it's looking really healthy right now um, and look at this flowers you guys my clearance flower one dollar from from Lowe's um, look it's just taking over the pot already I hope they go fill this this area here more um, this is a mandevilla that is annual but um, since I took it inside and um, winterized it it came back for me this year I don't know if it will flower for me uh, the blooms is pink and it's viney so we'll, we shall see we shall see and then the last plant on this backyard no not the last plant because I have another one over there this is my variegated this is my variegated ginger no not this one <laughs> this is my junior the variegated ginger that I planted last year and I also winterized this and took it in the garage it came back and actually um, I had a big one of this last year from Lowe's and someone just sneezed excuse me and um, I split it and plant some outside and they're just coming out right now but this one is really doing well here pool pump is very noisy this is the one remember guys when I have the haul from um, my grocery store Kroger there she is she's liking it here so far I have to uh, move it here from the, the deck so there it is you guys are not even bored yet uh, with my backyard tour let us go to this side of the backyard I promise this is it um, this is my project last year and the plants here are um, not as quite as um, beautiful as 
um, the other side of the fence because the deer has been eating them. So this is my canna that I planted from the seed that I got from the original plant that I have um, two years ago and it came back for me this year. It's so pretty. This one, I don't even know what it's called, but look at the color, you guys. As the more sun as it gets, it becomes intense orangey red. They are lime green like that, but then when they get more sun, the colors become more intense. This is my Black Beauty Alocasia. Came back for me this year as well. And I think this might be the small variety or I don't know, just not liking its location. This is another balloon plant, you guys. And it's about, the flower is about to pop. It's so fun. My son likes to pop this when it was last year and uh, it's so fun you just popped it and then this is the damage that the deer has done the plant is trying to grow and it just doesn't have a chance because every little shoots they have the deer would eat it I have few in here and look look at their damage that see they could have been way taller than this but the deer just gotten them i planted two in here the purple verbena and then this pink as well and there's another verbena another canna here the deer got some of the the plant like right here the deer just ate that part but it's still flower this another balloon plant and that one and that one look at this as well they ate it why dear why would you do that look at my alocasia mojito i oh now the airplane i got all kinds of noises here you guys i have the airplane i have the yard worker i have the geese on the other side cars all nature okay now there's my mojito alocasia it will grow up to here and will be looking so pretty here in my yard don't you just love the color the splash of like paint the dark color versus the almost lime green so this is the alocasia mojito that came from the mother plant that i propagated here it doesn't look so good right now but because of that initial shock of replanting it but hopefully i'm crossing my finger again that um it will bounce back this one here is um i just replanted it as well because the deer took a bite from this plant and i don't want to waste the plant and look how it looks horrible right now i don't want to waste it so i replanted it here and hopefully it will it will grow for me on this side um you can see this again um this purple leaf um cannas and like i said this is the what i call a damaged leaf from leaf roller so i need to come out here and spray they already destroy the leaf before even have the chance to open so all of these plant bed i did last year and i just um spread all and propagate this elephant ears and those purple kind of over there so let's go back to this other side of the flower bed oh my gosh junior you're getting dirty um oh my dog okay that one i don't know what it's called that flower junior that's my dog who's oh come out come here come here don't don't no, don't. You better not pee on my plants. Come here. 
Come here. You better not pee on my plants. No, sir. Come here. Come down. Ah, oh, let me, let me just, let me, let me turn this camera off and let me get him out of that bed. This one is a spreading, slow spreading um, ground cover and it's really slow. So this plant here, I bought a big plant and I make seven plants out of, out of one plant and just spread them all over. It will, <laughs> he just sneezed. That's what happens. Hey, oh. why did they even take him out here? Don't pee. You better not pee on my plants, Junior. He wants to go back inside. So, um, it will get really big once it's mature, but it's really good for um, this area here because this gets over six hours of full sunlight. So, it is drought resistant and I just couldn't remember the name of this one. And I like the variegation of this one. I seen it in all green, but I like this one here the butter butter yellow butter yellow butter <laughs> yellow and um, the green combination and then I have this ground cover it's 